I'm sure many of you have already seen York's various instant Legolas devices, but was the instant Legolas used in history? The short answer is no. For this specific device, we have no historical evidence. But there were similar rapid arrow shooting devices used throughout history, such as the Chinese repeating crossbow or the Greek polybolos. So even though we have historical repeating devices, whether it's Chinese repeating crossbows or artillery repeating devices um, that shoot arrows, why did they not become popular? I have four reasons. Firstly, the bow is simpler and cheaper to make. It's uh, cheaper to make and that by itself is very valuable. Secondly, many professional soldiers had armor or shields at the time, so a light poundage bow would not be very useful. Sure, you could put a heavy bow on these devices, but then you could be decreasing your rate of fire. It takes a lot of force and time to be drawing these bows, and keep in mind it's going to tire soldiers a lot more quicker. The English and various Asiatic cultures such as the Manchus used heavy bows above 100 pounds, which you know are more suitable to penetrate shields and medium armor but they required a lot of strength to use. Certainly, there would be situations where rapidly shooting arrows could be useful, such as shooting at unarmored people or animals, prisoners, flanking maneuvers to shoot at the unshielded sides, or for reducing the enemy's morale. The third reason why these repeating archery devices were not common is because other ranged weapons may be more suitable throwing axes, which can be thrown really rapidly, or javelins. And none of these require complicated mechanisms. Eventually at point range, you're going to need to switch to a melee weapon, and a throwing axe is pretty good for being used as a melee weapon. And finally, my last point. Archers can shoot speeds similar to the instant Legolas. Here is me, who is not Lars Anderson, speed shooting five arrows very rapidly. Is a more common and more reliable draw style, the Mongolian thumb draw. Just look how fast Alten shoots even though he is pulling the arrow from the quiver one by one. So these are some variants of speed shooting which I would like to discuss in the future. But my point is, you can shoot very fast already without a device. The time difference between this and repeaters is negligible. Also, keep in mind arrows were not cheap to make. Often you would want to make sure each shot counted so many archers would take their time shooting each arrow with heavier draw weights, especially during sieges. So in summary, the concept of the instant legalist did exist in history in various forms, but the four main reasons why it was not popular is that it was more complicated, more difficult to shoot heavier bows, it is replaceable by other ranged weapons such as javelins, and most importantly, archers could shoot similar speeds compared to an instant Legolas. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Jack Fan, and this is Historical Archery. Please like and subscribe.